Hello and welcome to day two, episode two of the 100 day GCSE geography revision before your exams. Today we're looking at the physical processes at plate margins. You have to bear with my parents. I've just got back from a few days in London. You will see that vlog next week, a week on Saturday, so a week after you're watching this. Um, but yeah, so it's quite late. It's just currently half past 10 at night and this needs to be up by 7.30 in the morning. I didn't really think too far in advance, but the rest of them are gonna be a bit more put together this one um but yeah i'm gonna stop waffling and get on with it so what happens at plate margins iceland is a country that sits on the north atlantic ocean it's situated on the mid-atlantic ridge a plate margin where two plates are moving away from each other there are several active volcanoes in iceland including let me get this right Eyjafjarkull. i'll put it on screen here which erupted in 2010. The different types of plate margins. There are constructive plate margins, which is what is prevailing in Iceland when plates are moving apart. There is destructive plate margins, which is the opposite where plates are moving together. And there is conservative plate margins or transform boundaries where two plates are sliding alongside one another, either in the same direction, just at different speeds or in opposite directions. Constructive margins. At a constructive margin, the plates are moving apart. Magma is forcing its way to the surface along the mid-Atlantic ridge. As it breaks through the overlying crust, it causes earthquakes. On reaching the surface, it forms volcanoes such as Eyjafjarkull in Iceland. The magma at constructive plate margins is very hot and visque and runny and fluid. Lava erupting from volcanoes in these areas will therefore flow a long way before it cools. This results in typically broad and flat shield volcanoes. So very low lying, not the pointy ones that you see in other places, but the very low lying shield helmet style, um, upside down bowl kind of vibe, shield volcanoes. Then destructive margins. At a destructive margin, two plates are moving towards one another. Where these two plates meet, a deep ocean trench is formed as it fo is, one is forced below the other. For example, the oceanic Nazca plate, which is relatively dense, is subducted beneath the South American plate. Friction between two plates causes strong earthquakes. As, oceanic, as the oceanic plate moves downwards, it melts and disintegrates. This creates magma which is less fluid than at the constructive margins, such as in Iceland. It breaks through to the surface to form steep sided composite volcanoes. So destructive, they're moving together and it's steep. Conservative, it's moving, moving away from each other and it's more like shield volcanoes. At a destructive margin, so where you've got your steep sided composite volcanoes, eruptions are often very violent and explosive. Where two continental plates meet, so coming together again at a destructive margin, there is no subduction because they're the same density. Instead, the two plates collide and the crust becomes crumpled and uplifted. This collision forms fold mountains, such as what we see in the Himalayas. These, mount these mountain building processes cause earthquakes but there are no volcanoes at these collision margins because there is no magma. And then conservative margins, when plates are moving alongside one another, either in the same direction, just at different speeds, or in different directions. At conservative margins, plates are moving past each other. Friction between these plates then causes earthquakes. So they are moving and sometimes they get stuck. And then when it breaks, that's when you have the earthquake. This is what we've seen in Turkey literally just this week, two plates moving alongside one another and there's been a build up of pressure, it's got stuck and it's slipped and that's what caused the first earthquake and the aftershocks are simply when these plates are moving, it's gone, it's got stuck and it's gone again. That's what these aftershocks are that we've seen in Turkey and the effects of that. It's a great example, obviously not a good thing, but it's a good example to be using for this conservative plate margins. 
And again, there are no volcanoes at these plate margins, the conservatives, because there is no magma. Volcanoes only form when magma is present. So let's think about this question. Explain the physical processes that happen at constructive plate margins. So think about what a constructive margin is. It's when two plates are moving away from each other. So magma is forcing its way to the surface as these, like, the Earth's crust is moving apart and so something needs to come up, so magma is coming up. It breaks through the surface, it causes earthquakes. As it reaches the surface, the magma cools and forms volcanoes, but it forms these shield volcanoes, these, because of the magma is so runny and so liquidy, it moves very far and just creates these really, they're called shield volcanoes, but very like bowl shaped, upside down bowl shaped um, is kind of what they look like, volcanoes. And then the lava erupting from these volcanoes is very hot and very fluid and it will flow a long way before it cools, which means that it falls broad and flat shield volcanoes. So that is it for the second episode of this series. I hope it has been useful. Um, yeah, you will see, I will not be up at 7am to um, answer any comments on this, but I will be up a little bit later when I've had a bit of a lion. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you 7am tomorrow for episode three.